Good morning. So this morning, for the first time, we're trying out the Bridgedale waterproof socks. So what I've done is, I've put a thin grey ankle sock underneath the Bridgedale ones. I've uh, got my walking boots on. It's really wet out here, so I'm going to walk on the grass, walk the dog round five kilometres. Uh, we'll go home, see if any water's come through the boots or through the socks. And then um, if they've not, we'll test them again. I'll, I'll, I'll put my feet in a, a bowl of water um, and see if any water comes through the socks onto the grey socks. So yeah, we'll bring you back in a bit. Right, so we're having a walk around on the grass now. We're going to have about 10, 15 minutes on this grass. Then we're going to have a walk through the woods, which will be like muddy and sodden. And I'll put a video of it in there. Do, do about an hour, hour and 10 minutes outside, five, five and a bit kilometres. Uh, then we'll get back in the house. And like I said before, I'll, uh, you, can, you can hear it, it's wet. Uh, we'll get in the house, check if the, the uh, grey socks underneath the waterproof socks are wet. Yeah, let's get in this puddle. Um, and if they're not wet, what I'll do is throw my feet in uh, a bowl of water with the grey socks underneath the waterproof socks, the bridge dales, and we'll see if they survive that for, we'll give it three minutes submerged in water because that's not really a test for the outdoors, is it? But um, yeah, we'll try that out and see how these uh, bridge dale 100% weather proof, waterproof, breathable windproof socks cup so we'll bring you back in the woods right so we're having to walk around all this mud uh, soaking wet muddy leaves in the uh, wooded area now in the park I mean this is a good test of these Caramore hot rock boots I got these about 12 months ago and um, I found them really good, they were 35 quid. I mean, if you're getting into walking, hiking and stuff, can you go wrong with 35 quid for a pair of boots? Um, I've had these 12 months and they've let me down once. And to be fair, it was a very rainy, boggy day in the Langdales, in the Lake District. Um, we went over, I mean, we were out walking for 10 hours, something like that, and we walked through a load of bog, and stuff and then eventually I walked through a stream because uh, we couldn't find anywhere to cross knee eye or you know shin eye so they failed then but probably not the boots more more just the uh, situation they were in and I've had no issues since so to be honest I've been contemplating replacing these Caramore boots with another pair of the Caramore hot rock boots especially now if I've got these waterproof socks to go under them, even if they let a little bit of moisture through or they fail, my feet are going to be dry anyway. And I'm really happy with the boots, they're really light, they're really, really good value, and they're really comfortable. So, yeah, I'm probably going to do that this year. Just uh, buy a new pair of the Caramore Hot Rocks <coughs> boots. I'm going to get half a size bigger. Um, and yeah, I'll try them again this year. Because for the for the price, they just don't. I just don't think they can be beat. So yeah. So we're gonna go through this mud. Give these boots a really good test. See if any water or moisture gets through the boot uh, onto the onto the socks. But obviously, if it doesn't, we'll be testing the socks out. Like I said before, in that water uh, at home. Get them in the bowl, on the feet, three minutes. See if any uh, moisture comes through onto those grey under socks. We'll bring you back at home. So I'll just check them. They're still bone dry after the walk. So stick them in the water now for three minutes and see if they're still the same. Right, so here we are. I'm gonna stopwatch. I'm gonna set a stopwatch. For, and I'm going to do three minutes with my feet in this bucket of water. I've got the grey socks underneath. And then we're going to check them out to see if they've uh, let any water through. Right, 
Right, so that's three minutes up. We're going to pop these out now. Stick them on there. Sorry about the washing machine noise. But we're going to pop these socks off, keep it live, and see if there's any moisture on the underneath. Grey inner socks. Oh. Right. I'm trying to keep this live so it's a fur test. There you go. Still absolutely bone dry. And there's the other one. Three minutes submerged under the the uh, Bridgedale windproof, waterproof socks, weatherproof, and it's completely bone dry. So they've worked. So that's my short review of the Bridgedale 100% waterproof, breathable, windproof socks. And, you know, uh, walking round was more of a test of the boots, to be honest, than the socks. But it was testing the breathability. There was no moisture came through um, in, like, my feet didn't sweat in that hour when I was out walking, which you wouldn't expect anyway. But, um, yeah, to submerge them in water for three minutes and uh, have zero moisture come through, you know, that's a good indication that they are 100% waterproof and they're doing the job. So what I'll do is I'll test these out on multiple long hikes uh, and a couple of, I'm going to try and do a multi-day hike uh, with a wild camp in it and I'll test these out with the Hot Rocks Calamore boots and I'll test them out uh, over the next few months and then I'll just do another short video on YouTube saying what I think about them and uh, the, pros and co uh, the pros and cons. So if you've made it this far, thanks for, for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. As always, stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.